Now, there are no guarantees that Worthing will keep all of its theatres. That's according to the chief executive of the council. Selling the three theatres and one cinema would save the council almost £1.5 million a year. It was announced today that 13 groups and businesses have applied to take them over. While it's hoped a theatre will remain, there are no promises, as Daniel Glavin explains. Every year, these war veterans and former taxi drivers come to the assembly hall. It has a rare Wurlitzer organ and is perfect for a knees up. Among the crowds is a famous face. Who knows what it's like to perform here? They were a great crowd, an appreciative audience, and they all sang and enjoyed all the songs. And it was wonderful. And I'm only too sorry that, you know, the voice goes and you can't do it anymore. But the Assembly Hall's future is not guaranteed. The council has put it and the town's other theatres and cinema on the market. Thirteen groups have applied to take some or all of them over. One bid is from a community trust that would keep all four venues. Scarlet, a production company that put on the wind in the willows and the chosen ones at the Connaught, has joined forces with the Worthing Theatre Trust. We've got a lot of support, we've got a lot of energy, enthusiasm, people are donating of their time as well as of their money and we're incredibly excited about it and really looking forward to running the theatres as Worthing Theatres Trust. If you get it. We'll get it. But is that confidence misplaced? While the council told me it would like a theatre, there are no pledges. But so are the guarantees we'll keep theatres in Worthing? I wouldn't like to say at this stage what the, what the guarantees are going to be, but it's really the intention of the council to make sure there's a good theatre and a good entertainment officer for residents, but also for visitors to the town. By the autumn, regular visitors should know if their favourite haunts will be open for business next year. Daniel Glavin, BBC South Today, in Worthing.